everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you I believe I have 10 It's either 10 or 11 fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret now in my previous video that I did for spring for Bath and Body Works if you haven't seen that video I will link it above check it out I only chose fragrance mist that you can get on the website now, in store now, that's just readily available. So I did the same thing with Victoria's Secret because, yo, me personally, I have just been having issue after issue with get ordering things online. And I pay a good amount of money to have a box at the UPS store, you know, to avoid all these issues. But when you have people going and delivering your stuff, showing a picture in the middle of a field, in the middle of a doggone barren parking lot, saying your package was delivered, what, what can you do about that? And you know that in my house, people act like they can't see the big old numbers on top and they always deliver it to the wrong person. People just incompetent, and, and a lot of people just don't want to do their job. Like, we all got to work, okay? Unless you, even if you're rich, you got to work to stay rich. Everybody got to work. So, I'm just saying, just do your job. If you have a job, do it. Because we all out here in doing their work life. And, you know, it's not fun, but we have to do it. So, I am just, I'm just not in the mood to, to recommend things that you might have to order, you might have to hunt down. I'm just not in the mood for that. I really wasn't. And I wasn't in the mood before, but lately I'm really not in the mood because my, it's just been a pain trying to get to order stuff online and, and have it delivered and people just don't want to do the job right. So I said, I wanted to say this. All these fragrance mists you can get in store now. You can get them in store now. They're perfect for spring, in my opinion, from Victoria's Secret. And another reason why I wanted to do this video, you know, occasionally I get in that mood where I don't want to show you things that you have to hunt down and, and pay an upcharge. And I really felt that way this year, as we all know the state of the economy. I didn't want any, you know, to recommend things that you have to go hunt, find, maybe pay an upcharge for, maybe you can find a good deal. You know, I just wanted it to be easy peasy for you to get these items right now. So, we're going to jump right into it. I have two fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret Pink. We're going to start there. This is Cocoa Vanilla. It has notes of coconut cream, vanilla bean, and spiced pear. Now, this is a... It's, 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 it's tropical to me, co creamy, coconutty, vanilla scent. But I feel like if you want, and it's got a hint of freshness. It's like a fruity, coconut, creamy vanilla. With a, You can smell a hint of that pear. I mean the barest hint. So don't let the pear throw you off because I don't know why they be putting pear in everything anyway. But yeah, this is one, at first I was going back and forth on it, but I feel like it will work in the spring if you want a vanilla fragrance, if you want, it's tropical, but it doesn't just smell straight up summer. Because when I think of tropical, I think of summery. This to me is spring and summer appropriate vanilla. And it smells good to me. I know this is a hit or miss with some people, but I do really enjoy it. And again, that is Coco Vanilla. Okay, the next fragrance mist from Pink is Soft and Dreamy. It has notes of Violet Petals, Fresh Peony, and Sunkissed Woods. And this is one. It's very floral fresh. Uh, it reminds me somewhat of like a dry, a floral, perfumey dryer sheet. But very pretty, very girly. And I think it's perfect for spring. It's very pink. It's very pink. It's very fresh. It's floral. And again, it's just to me an easy reach for spring. Soft and dreamy from pink. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you some fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret Core Collection. 
This is Velvet Petals. This has notes of lush blooms and almond glaze. This to me is year round, but especially for this time of year, it's soft, it's creamy, it's a little floral, it's nutty. It's a floral, perfumey gourmand scent. Cause you, I can pick up the almond note that cre it's like an almond milky note with the florals in there that makes it a very soft, easy to wear feminine fragrance. And if you like warm scents still in the spring, I believe this is a good one that is not overpowering when it gets hot because i mean tomorrow we supposed to be in the 90s i'm like what we went from gold now we're going into the 90s so this could work in the cooler spring weather and the hot spring weather and again that is velvet petals this next one i'm going to talk about surprised me and that is coconut passion this has notes of island coconut and warm sands and i was like i couldn't remember how this smelled because it's been a minute but when I sprayed it, I was like, this is a coconut that doesn't just smell beachy to me. And for some reason, like I told y'all, I have been liking and craving some coconut fragrances. And this is a pretty creamy coconut. It's like a, a warm, sunny, creamy coconut scent. And to me, it doesn't have that beachiness that grittiness some coconuts can have coconut fragrances that have that very summery very just summer coconut this is not it it's, it's just a pretty creamy warm but fluffy coconut scent and i really like this so yeah i think if you're craving coconut fragrances coconut passion from victoria's secret is a is a nice coconut fragrance Okay, the last one I have from the core collection is Midnight Blooms. This has you know, some moonflower and creamy woods. And if y'all, I knew, I mean, this smells like Ariana Grande's Cloud almost exactly to me. Almost exactly. So if you like Bath and Body Works in the stars, that one to me is i that's very woody unisex version this to me is more floral fluffy sweeter version so if you're one that loves in the stars and you want to keep that fragrance dna but you want to make it more a, mo a more wearable version for spring if you want to lighten it up some this Midnight Blooms is perfect, perfect for that. Love it. Like I said, if you know the DNA of Ariana Grande's Cloud, Baccarat Rouge 540. If you know that DNA, that is what this smells like. And like I also mentioned in the stars from Bath and Body Works. But again, I think it's a beautiful fragrance for spring and that is Midnight Blooms. Okay, I have one fragrance mist from the what i call their wellness collection i don't know what they call it it's like a spa wellness line at victoria's secret and this is coconut milk and rose calm this has notes of coconut milk and rose and y'all this is beautiful it is beautiful it is soothing it's relaxing but it smells high end it's a creamy milky rose exactly what it says super feminine it smells luxe and it's and you just smell like a luxurious kind of spa yeah and it's great for spring again this to me can be year round but it is good for spring and that is coconut milk and rose okay so now we're going to start with some of the limited edition collections i can't remember what this collection is called i did a whole video on all the the these next collections i'm going to talk about so this spring one i will link above if you haven't seen it check it out because we're not doing in-depth reviews right here so this is pastel sugar sky this has notes of vanilla orchid and cotton candy cotton candy and lavender musk this to me is a 
semi-sweet lavender musky vanilla scent. This is not a love for me, but it is. I know people who love this DNA. Like if you like Pastel Skies from Bath and Body Works, this is similar to that, but more, uh, more, it's that lavender note. But this is nice. It is pretty for spring. And you can go to the store and get it. So yeah, this is a nice one for spring. And this is Pastel Sugar Sky. Another one that took me by surprise when I decided to get it. This is Petal Plush Clouds. It has notes of peony sugar and bergamot tea leaves and mimosa flower. This just smells if you like Elizabeth Arden's white tea line, green tea line, this is a fragrance mist that's on par with those type of fragrances. It's fresh, it's, it's, you smell good, you don't smell perfuming. It's a floral tea, soothing, comforting, somewhat cozy, very light, very airy fragrance. It's a you smell good, you're not. Yeah, it's a you smell good fragrance. It's not perfuming. Floral tea, like I said, if you like Elizabeth Arden's white fragrances from the white tea line, fragrances from the green tea line, this is a good one. And to me, those fragrances that I've tried, I've only tried the white tea so far a few fragrances from the white tea collection but they're perfect for this this time of year and i think this fragrance mist is also and that is petal plush clouds okay this next one is floral morning dream this has notes of lily of the valley and fresh honeysuckle let me spray this again and i love this purple Yeah, this is this collection was the collection from Victoria's Secret where I felt like it fit the season perfectly. Cause this is a floral, fresh fragrance. It's very floral, but to me it's a pretty floral fragrance. Very simple. Matter of fact, if you like florals, I think you would like this because it's a sweet floral fragrance and again that is floral morning dream last certainly not least from this collection my personal favorite orange flower sun this has notes of citrus blooms blush woods and bubblegum petals y'all i bought a bag up of this bad boy and come to my able sale i might get one more oh this is citrusy, bubblegummy. Oh, beautiful floral citrus bubblegum fragrance. If you have tried that Finery Magnetic Candy, if you haven't seen my review of the entire Finery line from Target, I will link that video above. Check it out. This is the lighter, brighter. If you're not one that likes candy, candy, sweet, sweet, this is a good one because it's sweet, it's pretty, it's citrusy, it's got that bubble gumminess to it, but it's not heavy. It's not cloying at all. If you like that love, don't be shy DNA, you if you like benevolence from House of Siage, that DNA, you would love this. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get more during semi annual sale. This is good, good. Orange Flower Sun. I love that one. Now, the last two I have are from the Splash Collection. This is Pure Seduction Splash. This has notes of magnolia petals and juicy watermelon. Now, I usually am not one that thinks of wearing watermelon fragrances during the spring. But for some reason, this spring, I, it, watermelon has been on my mind to wear. And this is a beautiful floral watermelon scent. It's sweet enough and it sweetens up as you wear it. But if you're not ready for the candy watermelon scent, cause you know, if you 
we have a lot of watermelon fragrances that have come well a few a cup i would say three i can think of on top of my head that have come out at bath and body works you have watermelon fragrances at Bodycology, well, watermelon fragrances. So there are watermelon mists. There have been previous watermelon mists from Victoria's Secret. But this is one that is very pretty floral. It's a pretty floral watermelon. And the one that it makes me think of, I can't remember, Melon Sorbet. I think it was strawberry and watermelon. It was warm. It had a warmth to it, because I finished it up. And it was very pretty and it was different enough from my other watermelon fragrances because of that strawberry note and because it was warm this one pure seduction splash it's it's not warm it's still bright and airy and fresh and floral with that watermelony fruity sweetness that i just think is great for right now i do i mean these and most of these I'm mentioning you can wear them in the summer too. This is one that I would wear in the spring though. It's very pretty to me. And again, that is Pure Seduction Splash. Okay, the last fragrance we have here today is Velvet Petals Splash. This has notes of jasmine, pink lemon, and velvet petals. Now y'all, this is one that is unique to me. This reminds me of a kind of perfumey, floral, citrus tea fragrance that smells different to me. Um, since I have the other Velvet Petals in here, I'm, at first I wasn't picking up Velvet Petals, but I am picking up the original in this one today. But it, it is. It's a floral, citrusy like a glass of, of iced tea fragrance. But I still get a hint of that original warmth, nuttiness of the original Velvet Petals that I don't remember picking up when I first uh, talked about this. But yeah, I still think it's good for spring because it does smell different. Like I wouldn't want this one, I wouldn't want to wear it in the summer. So I think it's a good one for spring. And again, that is Velvet Petals Splash. All right, y'all. So that's it. That was quick and easy to the point, I hope, of the 12, I counted them, 12 fragrance smiths that you can go to Victoria's Secret in the store and you should be able to pick them up or online. Easily, readily available that I think are good picks for spring. Now, y'all let me know. I did, you know, all the ones from Bath and Body Works that you can get in store now, all the ones from Victoria's Secret. Let me know if you would want me to do just in general the ones I would recommend for spring that are, you know, discontinued. Just let me know if you would be interested in, you know, if this, if one of those videos, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, if we get to, I'm gonna say 500 likes between both of the videos, then I will do a, another round of spring fragrance mist in general. Just the ones that I think are great for spring. Cause as you know, I have a lot of fragrance mist, but I was just trying to make it easy on you all because you know, I don't know. I'm just, I just am, shopping is becoming a lot of work. And I don't need more work in my life. So I was just trying to make it easy for y'all. If you if you like the way I described it, you can just go get them. And it'll be easy. But if y'all want to see a video, because um, I, I would combine it. Just one of fragrance smiths that are discontinued that I also love for spring. Just leave me a comment down below. And then we'll see if we get to 500 likes. And then, we'll, then I'll do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your favorite fragrance mist to wear from Victoria's Secret for spring. I would love to know. Please share this video with everybody, y'all. We are trying to get to, <clears throat> you know. So just share, 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 share. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.